Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a flip through of a new book that I got yesterday, and I thought I would show you what I was working on first. Uh, this is a book by Lenka Filonenko, and um, it's called Enigma. So I hadn't done anything in here except for I think I did a bit on one of the title pages uh, when I first got it to see which pencils would work the best. So the picture I decided to try, or not try, but the, the picture I decided to, to color, there's the first one I colored, yeah, just the title, the nameplate plate. And um, so I've started this one. And um, I've been using my Caran Dash Lumis for the skin. I still don't have it quite the way I want it. I think I need the face a little bit darker, but that'll take some time to figure out the, the different uh, shades and colors of the pencils, uh, the 24 set that comes afterwards. Um, I have put some glitter in there with uh, Arteza glitter gel pens. And her hair I did in shades of some black, some gray, and then I put some little streaks in it with a moonlight jelly roll in a grayish blue tone, um, just to, to make it a bit different because I do want the cat to also be shades of black and gray. So I thought uh, that might be a way to, to tell the difference between the cat and her. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the cards yet. Uh, the bodice, and uh, looks like, a, like a, what they might call an outer vest, maybe in those times, I'm not sure. Um, I'm doing the, the peasant style uh, top in different shades of blue, and they're uh, my polychromos. Uh, the blues in, in Caran d'Ache, the Lumi, are absolutely beautiful, but they tend to have some green in it. And I kind of wanted to have this blue, like really blue, because I want to make her eyes and the cat's eyes a really awesome blue. So the, the next thing is then, of course, working on this, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Crystal ball. I couldn't find the word yesterday when I was trying to think of it. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, it's kind of going to be a little bit of a, a challenge. I don't think I've ever done a crystal ball before. And so that just leaves the cards then and uh, these candles. And I'd like to get it done before the end of the month so I can include it in this month's uh, completed works. So having said that, let's move on to... This book I just received yesterday called Circle of Life. And I, I sat down with this book after I had got it. And it is absolutely fabulous. It, all, it in some aspects reminds me of Kirby Rosan's. And in other ways it doesn't. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So her name is Mel Pomeni, and I can't pronounce her last one, so I won't even attempt to say it. It's something, something, too. Okay. So I got a cord in the way here. Sorry about that. So this is a repeat of the what's on the front cover. And then we have a double page spread with this um, eternity symbol. It's just it's just beautiful. So that's going to be, that's going to be a, a really nice one to, to color. Not sure which one I'm going to try first in this book. But I almost want to start this one, be, start this one before I start Fragile Worlds. Isn't that something? Eh? I never thought I'd say that. And we just have all the information, information, enter the circle of life, blah, blah. We are there. We know. So look at this. Just gorgeous. And I don't think it's going to bother me that they're kind of like mandalish, because um, I do like mandalas a lot of the times. Uh, but the repeating of the stuff in the, the same drawing, these are small pictures. Like this is just, I believe, an 8 by 8 book, so it's not um, a big, big book. I love this. The wolf howling at the moon and the stream coming down from the mountains. Little cabin in the woods. See, that's kind of what I mean here. We've got um, the circles of fish. 
but you know, I don't think it's going to bother me because I'm so, I'm so intrigued by by the drawings and the, they're just beautiful, and I think it's almost, um, she's got a lot of that detail in it that Kirby does, uh, which might make it. Um, I'm not going to say easy to color, but a little bit easier to, to realize where I want to have it a little bit darker. This picture here is just phenomenal. And we have a double page spread here. We got a bear. We got an eagle. We got a tent and a campfire. Somebody's camping. We're having a great time. I like, I like this, all the cacti, and a mesa in the background. This one here is fast, fascinating to me too. I really like this one, the trees growing up and that's part of the, the time. So it's kind of neat too, the water's coming out of this little suspended island and showering down on the flowers and the earth. This beautiful I'm going to call it a swan. I'm not sure. It could be something else, but I'm, I'm, you know, kind of positive that it might be a swan. And this one kind of is reminiscent of that little island. Here it's got holes and the water's coming through it. And there's that camper again. Or another camper. This reminds me of a picture in, ha in a Hannah Bassford book. I never did that picture, so it would be great to do this one. And this one looks quite interesting. You can see the back of the bird, and then on the other one you can see the bottom of the bird. So that's, that's really quite interesting uh, uh, for coloring. And I like this, north, south, east, and west. So that'll be Australia because they have the day before anybody else. So the west must, whatever's west of Australia, I guess, is the last part of the day on the planet Earth. In the north and south, it's pretty cool. Excuse my sniffing. I was outside for a nice walk with Wilson. Nice ship in the ocean. Two page spread here with a whale. All sorts of things in the ocean. Lots of little fish to color around them. Uh, that'll be interesting to do. Might, might be uh, worthwhile to get some neon colors out to do some of those fish. This is kind of like a lighthouse island berg and a, and a big whale. Jellyfish, I think these are called. A crab. And these are different shell fishes. I have a hard time saying that. Birds, butterflies. And this, the life of a sunflower, pretty cool, eh? Starts out growing, and here it's getting bigger, and here it's got the big head on it, and here it's totally ripe and ready to be picked. This beehive is absolutely beautiful. Look at all the flowers. Look at all the flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's stunning. This one is interesting too. It looks like the inside of a beehive, you know, those honeycombs. So I'm going to have to look up colors for that and do them, uh, do them in those colors. It's, li it's like I want to do just about every page in this book. It's just beautiful. Even this one with like bugs. And this one's got kind of a um, not sure if it's a chrysalis, but it's got like, you know, the larva and the caterpillar and then we got a butterfly. So it must be like a circle. It starts here and goes into here and does this. But there is another one in the book that is uh, quite, quite much bigger. Oh, this one right here, yeah. Starts out in all the, shows you five or six different stages until the butterfly comes out. So that's, that'll be very fun to do. Have to get some uh, references. This is a pack of snakes, a whole horde of them. Yeah, this is kind of reminds me of the one by Kirby Rosans in Geomorphia. I had the 
city or the, all those houses on top of one of these continually rising steps. This I thought was really cute. Look at that light on the front of the, of the prow. I think it's a prow, isn't it? The front of the boat. So that'll be interesting. Reptiles. And I love this one. This one is just, ooh, the, the, it's, a, it's made out of a tree and then it's got flowers and there's a campfire type thing. And yeah, it'll be awesome to do. And this bear eating his bamboo in the middle of the bamboo forest. Squirrels, look at those tails. And then they are with an acorn. And this one is totally cool. An acorn, and it, it's just, it's just awesome. I got the stream coming down from the mountains, getting a little bit bigger when it gets to level ground. A deer, some kind of a deer. I'm not going to be specific because I don't know deers. And so, these are similar to birch trees. I think that's what she may have meant. And some beautiful flowers. Some mountains in the background. There's a rabbit, several rabbits, and all the food they eat. I love rabbits. Oh, look at this little hedgie. It's adorable, isn't it? I like this too. We've got some books with some mountain stream coming down and rolling through and over. And here we have a fox all snug as a bug in a rug. Got a tornado here. That'll be interesting trying to figure out how to do that. A desert with uh, pyramids. Some camels. Alligators, crocodiles, something like that. They're big, they got lots of teeth. I forget what that's called, but it's cool. And a rhinoceros with a reflection in the water. Some giraffe. And like I said, they're, they're not all that big, the, um, the pages. And plus, they, most of them, I think, are, I'm not going to say all because I probably would be wrong, but I believe most of them are in circles or frames of some kind. So it's, you know, it, it's uh, not even necessary to do around the circle because this is kind of like a mat on the outside. Oh, we got a lion checking out his property. And we got some elephants. Some zebra. Birds. Skeleton. Of the head of some kind of deer or buffalo or something like that. A uh, dream catcher. A windmill. A water wheel. Shows the circle, eh? Everything's a circle. Spider web. Snail. Carrying his home. Beautiful flowers. Butterflies. Flowers. It might be a moth. I'm not sure to tell how, how to tell the difference. And to me, it doesn't really matter. And some more sea shells. Excuse me, I think I'm going to have to sneeze. Oh, I'll try to hold it back. Dolphins, I believe. Sharks in the water. I see like fins, looking like fins. Or maybe it's, no, dolphins don't have, oh, dolphins do have fins, don't they? Maybe it's the more dolphins. I think that's a, I'm not sure what that is. I'm tired. Seahorses. This turtle or tortoise. Really pretty, eh? And the um, ship's wheel. Ships traveling. Seawater creatures. Octopus. Yeah. It's not one of the things I'm too fussed about. 
at whales and seals, stuff like that. Lots of fish going around in circles. This is an interesting picture. I like it. We've got the chicken and the eggs. Here we go. <laughs> Complete circle. Beautiful waterfalls to color there. Flowers. There's a lot of pa pa pages in this book also. Beautiful hummingbird. Some flowers. A uh, nest with eggs. Carrots. Mm, different kind of birds. Could be budgies. Could be anything you want to color them. Peacock. I kind of like that. That's kind of interesting. Especially if you keep doing the flowers and the colors of the tail. And two different kinds of owls, because one's got little wee ears, looks like, and one's got a heart-shaped face, so that'll be interesting. A lot of flowers here. Nice paper, too. Oh, this is a double-page spread of fish and uh, lilies, lily pads. So a frog, we've got the spawn, we've got the tadpole. He's losing his legs, I mean losing his tail. Got some legs and there he is. And fish. Crystals, nice, eh? Be interesting to do those. And we have a volcano erupting. Seems to be happening regularly right now with Mount Etna, isn't it? And um, the solar system, planets. I'm not, I don't really know how to do galaxy pictures, so I'm going to have to look that up. I've, uh, I don't think I've ever like really done one, tried to make it look like a galaxy. This is interesting. It's the Earth and the Sun, I, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me, please, somebody. Fabulous, eh? Polar bear there. And that's the end of the book. So everyone, thank you for sticking with me, and the ones who did, to see this whole book. Again, that Circle of Life by Milpomeni, starting with chats. So um, thanks, thanks a bunch. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for all my subscribers, new and old. And I'll see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.